All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing a talking style video addressing a little bit of a topic that kind of came up just as I watched someone's recent video about me that I thought would be a good topic to share with you guys, to show you guys sort of my perspective, opinion, insight, all these different things on this specific thing so that you guys can learn a little bit more about me. As I've been in this quarantine, I've had some time to think about what I want to share with you guys as far as personal thoughts, feelings, all this different stuff and what I want to address because I haven't really shown that side of me in my previous videos. It's mostly just been training and not as much talking and really letting you guys learn about me so today i'm going to let you guys learn a little bit more about how i feel about certain things and how i feel about this specific issue that i'm going to talk about in just one second before we get into my opinion specifically i want to say make sure you guys go check out greg Doucette's new video talking about myself as well as danny joe fitness and our diets our keto diet specifically i'll insert the clip right here that i'm going to be talking about today and then i'll explain a little bit more now some of you are asking is it safe for teenagers to be doing this keto stuff People write me, is it safe my three-year-old wants to eat popcorn? My three-year-old wants to have a protein shake. You're giving them McDonald's. Of course it's safe compared to McDonald's. 17-year-old wants to eat keto. Oh, well, the scientific research says that the macronutrient profile of the keto diet won't be able to sustain the energy required in the growing teenager. And Tristan Lee's probably short because he didn't eat enough carbs. It's BS. It's way healthier for Tristan to eat the way he's eating, to have energy and play soccer and look the way he does, than to just start eating McDonald's and say, oh, I'm on a balanced McDonald's diet. I eat Pop-Tarts for breakfast, McDonald's and pizza for supper. That's most teenagers how they eat. Throw in some Diet Coke or regular Coke and probably some freaking vodka on the weekends when their parents aren't looking. And that's a typical teenage diet, let's be honest. If he wants to follow keto, Go for it, eat your pedo diet. Do it, do it. So as you guys saw in that little clip, Greg was talking a little bit about how people always say that what I'm doing is unhealthy, being this lean, being this strict with my dieting, not enjoying my life as a teenager. So I wanted to touch a little bit on that. Over the past two or three years or so, as I've been doing this whole social media thing, obviously I get a lot of comments talking about different things, whether it be hating, whether it be questioning, whether it be positive comments, all these different things. So I get the whole spectrum of everything. One of the most common comments that I get is that what I'm doing to my body right now by restricting is unhealthy. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about that. So one thing that Greg does really well in this video is he compares myself sort of to the normal teenager or the average teenager, where he talks about people who are eating donuts, eating pizza, eating McDonald's, going out, partying, drinking, all these different things that are obviously going to negatively affect your body. And I thought this was a good point to make because because whenever I see these people commenting, I question whether or not they really look at both sides of the spectrum and, and compare and contrast sort of what I do compared to what an average teenager does. One thing that people commented a lot about when I was younger or when I posted more about my early morning training sessions was that I'm waking up too early, I'm not getting good quality sleep because I was waking up at 4 a.m. to go and train at the gym. So one thing I wanted to compare with this to an average teenager, is it better to wake up at 4 a.m., go to sleep at seven o'clock, and wake up at 4 a.m. or is it better to go to sleep at 4 a.m. and then wake up at 7 a.m. get only getting three hours of sleep i really don't understand how people can say that waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning still getting a full eight hours sometimes even more of sleep is more unhealthy than going to sleep at 4 a.m. and waking up at say at 7 a.m. only getting three hours of sleep because they were partying the previous night and that can branch us into the next point which is that you'll see all of these teenagers i'm not saying everyone obviously there's kids that don't go out and party and drink and smoke and all these different things. There is a large amount of teenagers that do do that kind of stuff. So for people to say that, oh, me restricting my calories or me drinking protein shakes or me going and training at 4 a.m. in the morning is worse than any of those things is absolutely ridiculous to me. So I think what, what those people are saying is a little bit absurd and for them to question me doing a ketogenic diet where I'm taking out rice and sweet potato and donuts and pizza and all these different things is more unhealthy than what the average teenager is doing, sitting inside all day, playing video games, drinking, smoking, eating pizza, all these different things is somehow better than waking up at 4 a.m., staying to a strict diet, being able to control my habits, my good habits, my bad habits is worse than that. I just think it's absolutely ridiculous for anybody to think that and I just wanted to give you guys my opinion on that. Back when I was at home, I'd get a lot of questions from my friends asking me if it was healthy to be at such a low body fat percentage or wake up so early and my kind of common response to them would be to ask them if 
And I know this may seem a little bit douchey, but is drinking and partying and smoking and eating donuts and all that stuff healthy? A lot of people don't consider their own personal habits that may be affecting their body negatively before going and commenting on my page saying that waking up early or eating the way I'm eating is unhealthy. Just to put things into perspective, obviously there is a fine line. You can't go too far one way or too far the other way you have to find balance in between the only issue for me is that training is my therapy so if I wasn't able to train if I wasn't able to diet and be okay with the way that I look then I would probably go to the all the way to the other end of the spectrum and do all these other different habits that would affect my body so negatively even risk my life at that point training is my therapy and I honestly don't know where my mental state would be at without it so for someone to tell me that waking up early to go and train is unhealthy is very, not very angering, but sort of very disappointing to me that people would see it that way because they don't understand how much I enjoy training and how much it affects my life in a positive way, regardless of if I am restricting certain portions of my life that I'm not enjoying donuts or pizza on the weekend or going out and drinking, which I don't find joy in. A lot of people always say, enjoy your childhood. Well, this is my message to them saying that this is my enjoyment of my childhood. I love training. If I don't have a passion for going out and eating or drinking or any of that stuff, if that's not what I enjoy doing, I don't find joy in it. Why would I choose to do that over waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning, going and working my ass off, sweating, building something that I feel is beneficial to my body and my health and eventually the entirety of my life. I think this quarantine has given a lot of people time to think, especially me, and I've been able to gain a little bit of perspective on what I wanna do with my content, and that's why I created this video to actually talk to you guys about what I feel and what I think when I see all these comments. I haven't really addressed a lot of them in the past, but I thought with Greg bringing up this video, this would be a great time to kind of show you guys my perspective on training, dieting, lifestyle habits, all these different things. With this time that we have to think, people need a little bit of a wake up call to stop lying to themselves and telling themselves that what I'm doing by waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning and eating my steak and eggs versus eating my donuts and pizzas is a bad influence or unhealthy to, to show that to my viewers, even if I am preaching it to a young audience. Now, I'm not saying everybody has to go this full-fledged into dieting, nutrition, training. There is a balance in between and you don't have to choose that way. I'm not able to find a center and that's very difficult to me. So if I don't go all into what I'm doing, whether it be training or my nutrition or my sleep or my recovery, any of that stuff, then I can't do it at all. And I think probably some of you guys can understand that as well. Similar to some of you guys, training is absolutely 100% a stress reliever and therapy. So to lose that would be something that would absolutely crush me and destroy me. So during this time of quarantine, when you guys have so much time to think all day, literally 24 hours of the day, you get to think about your physical, your mental, your emotional states and create a plan to try to fix those things, to put yourself in a better position to move forward in life. And in this time, I'm doing exactly that. And especially by starting things off by creating this video, I'm creating my plan to move forward in a positive way rather than using this time as a negative or as setback. I'm using it as a time to stop, think, plan and fix my physical, mental and emotional health. I suggest you guys do the same. Now, once this whole thing comes to an end, because I know it will, you guys can manifest all the things that you'd already planned out to create in this quarantine period. I wanna end this video by saying that what I'm doing, I 100% can put myself behind. I believe that what I'm doing is healthy. I am in no way harming my body in any way, shape, or form. I'm making sure that I'm getting the right foods, the right nutrients, the right sleep, and creating a healthy lifestyle, a sustainable lifestyle that I'm gonna be able to do, not for one year, not for two years, not for three years even, but for my entire life. And I suggest you guys do the same. If you guys did enjoy the video and did enjoy this little bit of a talking style video, please leave a like, as I said, Make sure to check out Greg Doucette's video where he touches on the little subject that I've been talking about here, comparing myself to your average teenager or comparing what some people call my unhealthy habits to the unhealthy habits of an average teenager. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I think we're almost at 700K. Thank you guys so much for the support. And if you want new talking videos, please let me know in the comment section down below any specific topics I can get to them. I guess that brings us to the end of the video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.